Hello there, wafflers of the internet, and welcome back to the High Lord campaign, where High Lord Elrond the Aggressive is going to have to get pretty uh, warlike because he's going to face almost 5,000 orcs. Um, but I guess it's all, you know, this is Tuesday for Elrond at this point, so let's just get into it, shall we? Fight to the end. Ah, it will not be our end, but his. If we are to uh, quote the movies, of course. Um, yeah, so, at long last, my internet connection is restored. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Mm, it is not time for me to leave Middle Earth, he says. Hmm. Okay. Now the large army is simply right ahead of us, and the other one is coming in behind us, ish. And I guess this is just the terrain we'll have to live with. It goes up, it goes down, it goes up, it goes down. Okay. So if we put out stuff like this, I think we'll be okay. Let's just make sure that these guys do not run away when prodded. The enemy have brought up more men. Okay, I think this is stuff I can I, I can live with this situation. And of course our lovely elves are beginning to fire already with Elrond in range of the enemy. And harassment shall now begin. Oh, of course they have archers on this side. I should have remembered. And they have wargs on the other. Okay, we're going for the wargs, everybody. Going for the wargs. Ooh, we'll have to maybe widen our defenses a little bit. Something like that. Get rolling, elves. Get rolling. The archers are hurting us, particularly our Linda Bowman, but. Alinda Bowman are not too precious, so there we go. <laughs> Being offered up as a medium armored sacrifice. Hmm, how are we doing over here? Hmm, you're coming in with the heaviest armor of the day, it seems, and you have. Ooh. Berserkers. Which makes you vulnerable to, say, Rangers. How interesting. There you go. Get right up in their grills and grill them good. Okay. We will need to divert some aggressive infantry to this flank. How are we doing over here? Wargs reduced to around 30. The entire enemy army is amassing on the other side. They're trying to flank us with everything. Interesting. 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 Well. 
And then they go back. Exactly what these dudes have in mind is very hard to see at this point. But maybe that's the plan. They plan just to confuse us by running back and forth. And over here, the Marauders are trying to catch up, but they are unable to because, well, we have to fast the horses. Well, we have horses. And now the enemy is at our throats. Okay, okay. Do you know bodyguards? Why don't you fire on... Uh, I don't know. Oh, just spear guard? No. No, all these guys are pretty bad, actually. Um, Linda Bowman, come over here. Okay, now here, I have some berserkers for you to look at, the rangers. Here they are. Oh, the right team. Mm hmm. Pain guard. Ugh. Not sure I like you guys, but, uh,. You're probably heavily armored, aren't you? No, no, you actually seem to be just uh, your basic selves. Okay. Interesting. Uh, what is going on over here? Reavers fighting veterans. Let's fight them a bit more heavily. Uh, no, ooh, more Reavers coming in over there. But that is Cinder Archers. You love those guys. Okay, well, we are kind of mauling them. Jesus Christ, 21 defenders and then Gilgalad's company holding off hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. Truly, these elves are terrifyingly good. Cinder archers ret reducing the Bane Guard to cinders, appropriately. And here, you are shooting some archers, which is fine. Okay. How are our rangers doing? Uh, actually, they're coming under attack, which is mm, less than optimal. Let's use them where it really hurts. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. Some backdoor charging into units already occupied with other things. So, like these raiders are about to be. Those reavers over there. And then they have some archers. Oh yeah, 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 I'll gladly run down some archers. Boom, ba boom, boom, boom. Reavers running away. The berserkers here are reduced to 37. Brave souls. Well, whether they're brave or not, I don't know. But I'm going to shoot them even further. And then... Where are the archers? Yeah, why don't we? Okay, okay. And you're being accosted by bodyguards. Something you do not wish to be. Trust me. No. We want to instead kneecap some raiders. So, let's get on that. How are you doing over here? Oh, yeah, you, you, uh, you've been kneecapped yourselves, actually. Okay, run again. Run, run at the Reavers. Here, you are accosting archers, which is always a lovely thing to do. Always a lovely thing to do. But there are hunters coming your way. And now these rangers need a target, like these archers over there. And then your rangers, how are you doing? You are running down Reavers, which is a fine thing to be doing. It is fair to say that we'll lose a fair few men on this 
for the moment the fortune of battle goes our way. Let's pray it remains as such. But it does very much go our way. Okay, man your rangers. Charge the raiders. Rangers, charge the raiders. And rangers, get away from the archers over there. I don't think they like being charged in this manner. But they are holding pretty firm. We need to take it down the general in order to see decent results against them, morale wise. At least that's the way it seems to me. Elrond, how are you doing? Oh, you're being attacked by raiders. Okay. Well, let's attack the raiders straight back. And saddle up for some. Those artists are just continuing to run after <laughs> rangers, which is the most illogical thing they could possibly be doing. They are not fit for melee, and yet a melee with cavalry is what they try to achieve. <laughs> charge, counter charge, run around, charge again. These are the things we do. And the archers, you're about to be greeted by the Noldor veterans. Okay, and the archers over here are feeling very frisky. Actually, they just went from being wavering to very eager, which is um, atypical. Not something often seen. Okay. Now, bodyguards, you're of course shooting. The enemy general flees like the coward he is. Ah, excellent. Okay, uh, well, let's compound this pleasure by... Oh, what are you doing? You buggers. Okay, keep the fight on over there and the Noldor are coming to help you. Um. Okay, Noldor archers, you're ready to do some good. First army is pretty much defeated, and of course that is the lion's share of the whole deal. Time to move in and do some funny business to the enemy berserkers, I think. There's still some pockets of resistance, but most are running away at this point. With the archers over there. Basically last orcs standing. So let's just run them down with cavalry and then take these lovely folks and send them along. Gilgalad's company has suffered some heavy losses, but oh, I mean, the kill tally they. Look at this! The kill tally they must have caused is astronomical. <laughs> That's just insane. Um. Okay. So, the Berserkers are still just standing around, so let's charge them from behind, as any honourable elf would do. Cowardly foe runs. It's time to press the attack. So run in with all of our troops, essentially. That's going to be the plan. You're pursuing... Okay, fair enough. Let's move everybody in on this action. How are you doing, Rangers? Didn't take down the general, which means you should get out of there pretty quick. Because those berserkers are pretty good in a in a <laughs> melee against you. So okay, so with you going over there, you go over there, you go over there. Only half the enemy force remains. Elrond, I want you to... Sh no. Well, the berserkers are running at us. Okay. Well, that's an opportunity. 
So over here, our cavalry goes. Charge, charge, charge into the archers. Yeah, they're not getting up after that. Hunter's running away. Make sure they do not leave this field. And then run into the berserkers. End their smug superiority. Six berserkers left. Smash them with your horses. That's the general himself. There he goes. Pursue and run them down. Okay, and what remains? A single raider. Being shot at by Elrond himself. Unsuccessfully, I might add. Well, it's okay. We'll let him go. Our foe is utterly vanquished. Let all who remember this day remember it as the day of our most glorious victory. Wow. 588. Uh, that is impressive, Elrond. Very impressive indeed. For having... Under 50 soldiers, he just killed 60. Uh, uh, so, sorry, no. Uh, no, no, he just killed over 10. Amanya Swordmasters, 363, 457. Noldor Veterans, yes, I thought so. Veterans, that's a very powerful unit as well. The Defenders, the Rangers did fine. They did their thing. That's how we start the day off with a bang. Farewell, dear orcs. We must defend these lands. Our land will be safe once more. Guard this area. Yes, they are now our lands. Ah, uh, of course, the general of theirs ran, ran away. Brave Sir Robin ran away. Time to blockade Umbar. Are you serious? Is that really what we want to be doing right now? Huh. Well, it seems the Minas Tirith has been left alone for the time being. Which is very fascinating. I'm gonna stick you! Mordor has already wasted two armies trying to t retake Minas Tirith. Um, <laughs> and just look at this conga line of orcs all over the place. Ships ready. Gondor, why are, you addressing me? why are you constantly following me? <laughs> yes, sir. I think that's no the proper tail. question here. We can go no further. We can go no further. We are the most advanced realm. Woohoo! For taking a backwater orc in town. Well, city. Requiring an artist studio. As of course it does. Some armor upgrades would not go amiss. I'm gonna okay, so here. First, Captain Maldak. So he is my lord. the heir my to the Isengard realm. Where did he oh he bought cell swords? Come, my elves. For the light. Elven warriors. My lord. Elven warriors. Ah, it's interesting. Okay. Well, we could definitely just go and shoot at them, really. 
In fact, that is exactly what we shall be doing. We like lossless victories here. Time for a little bit of Elven Bow Spam. Despite Forest. <laughs> and it stops right at our area. That's just. That's the game just telling us how low an opinion it really holds of us. I feel. I feel very personally slighted by the. Uh, map generation uh, okay here we go six percent killed in the first volley this is going to be pretty brutal folks not gonna lie over right here focus on the bodyguards Being shot at from all directions, surely they won't be happy about this. Fifty-six percent gone. Oh dear. Yeah. Lay down the barrage on these bodyguards. They will not escape this time. Must not fall. It must not, and it will not fall. Okay, time to get all these lovely archers against the bodyguards. While uh, the bodyguards are taking on the cell swords. continue like this we will smash the enemy oh no Elra here lost a man two men how will they ever cope He's just walking around, and she runs away again. Time to press the attack. That is not how the factionaire should behave. But now he's dead, so it doesn't matter. And cell sword. Okay, let's uh, stop shooting our bows. Uh, let's rather just follow them, capture them. I guess that's it. Yeah. One orc this is a clear going victory. nowhere. And of course, I do know bodyguards taking the lion's share of the kills because they always do, but the Nolder archers coming in hot pursuit. Ah. Okay. And then. We just head back into Breakness for now, but I think that either Elrond or Ilra here should push forward, both if possible, but not should will be. At least not until we get a history guild. Farewell. We should have. Okay. Uh. My lord. 
So now comes the question, can we actually leave this place? We can. Okay. Well, fantastic then. Scout the area. Elves. Come, my brothers. Follow me. We will this is where we build a tower, and then we just continue to uh, Gund, I suppose. Which is somewhere over here. Or here. Stay alert. Manway, go back into Dareworth. Our finances are recovering. It's good to see. And then, yeah, Orcish practice range. Not gonna use that. Wall breeder. Goodbye. Cross bit. Farewell to you. Yes. Yes. We're gonna sneak these cell swords in. Elves. For the light. Let's at least bring some elves with us, right? Uh, but we should send them for retraining. Woohoo! And then these guys go into the fort. Nice. Herot. You can and therefore should get an old old guard hall. Come, my brothers. Which should in turn Onward. make our Bellasson fit to leave for Bregness, where his gubernatorial skills will be put to better use. Isengard, surely you can build something. Yes, Noldorian Armourer, that's where we are. And then a guard hall. Follow me. Don and Austin, just doing Follow. your thing. You're doing your thing too, it's wonderful. And then, of I'm course, we have Captain Luno. Who was chosen to besiege Glorfindel of all people. So. Off we go. If they are going to continue wasting trios of orc units the tide of battle on this place, then us. I mean, we must act and halt this turn of events. I'm not going to say I'll be wholly displeased because that would just be excellent. That is them continuously draining their reserves in favor of a cause they cannot hope to win and it seems the archers hold the key to the kingdom this time around okay wonderful Mordor you know where to go all right archers smash that was not the best charge in the world put it mildly and you know how I like putting it mildly let's charge them once again because apparently that confused them that is better without him his troops will lose their will to fight okay so now we're in business the archers are firing the riders are riding the raiders are raiding and the reavers are weaving Let's just wait over here for a little bit. And then counter charge. Okay. Archers over there. Let's be at them. Smash. 
and then ran away cackling into the night. Well, whatever time of day it is. 89 reavers remaining, 73 archers remaining. Okay. We can live with this. Full steam into the reavers. Badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. Dum, da, 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 da. Raiders, please. Smash. <laughs> oh, this is an incredible unit. Okay. And there we go. The battle seems to be swinging in our. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Okay, they didn't run from that. Archers. Dead men are becoming dead. So I think I'll take tired any day. Look at that. And then... One straggler. The enemy are utterly vanquished. No survivors. This is a great victory worthy of only the <sighs> And with this wonderful Liberation of Kinyard. Our quest can continue. They must be really sad about hearing. There are 40 elves guarding Kinyard. Are you sending hundreds and hundreds of orcs? Yes. Okay. Don and Austin. Do something about that. Yeah. Boom, 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 boom. And why don't you go with Don? You don't need to go with him yet. Actually, that would just be incurring an extra expense that we don't really need to spend, <laughs> as it were. And these guys, 170 a turn. Let's just send them over there to the fort. You know, it's not much, but it's something. I feel confident in recruiting some more units. By the light of oh, you're going to Dunlarach, aren't you? Come, my brothers. Let's send you to Osnithil first. Because retraining your armor is very By worthwhile. Does Dunlarach have a weapon upgrade thingy? History Guild, no. And History Guild, right? Yeah, History Guild. I guess it's the Strongholds that'll get the Blaze skills. Which makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Oh, Bellasong can upgrade his weapons. Come Yay! Oh, yeah, you're Stop going to Lon there. Okay. Or maybe we... <sighs> Lunda is pretty self-sufficient at this point. I guess it's crippled by corruption, sort of. Hmm. Thinky, thinky, think. Yeah, let, let's do everything we can to increase trade here. Valiant Council Halls will follow. Elven warriors. By the light follow me. These lovely fellows. Yeah, uh, oh yeah, it's because we have a history guild here. Because we don't get weapon upgrade from 
the Gwaithi Myrdine, we get the armor though. So if we get rid of the history guild, because we don't really need it anymore. We get a growth bonus, but it's not too much. So, yeah. And the Valiant Council Hall is going to take care of the corruption that we have just incurred. So I think that's a fine trade. If we get a if we get an offer for a bladesmith skill, then I'll be happy. Follow me. Come, my brothers. Um, Follow me. Yeah. Sire. But Elves. for now, we can take these lovely fellows Elves. out for a spin. Heading Follow to Hero. Bringing a grin. For the light by the light of Elbereth. Stay when you're alert. heading there, which means Elf. the cavalry yes, will Lord. just join you on the way after the next turn. Elven warriors. Perfect. For the light. And these lovely lads. Yes, my lord. For the light. We'll head into the fort to later head to Austin the Deal. Goodness. That alone just twelve thousand. Right out of your treasury for next turn. <laughs> well, we will be okay. We'll be all right. We'll be all right someday. What's the next upgrade? Caliber body and plate. Mm, okay. 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 But we're getting there. The culture transition is progressing. Okay. That's right, I'm sure you can build something. No, not yet. Okay. And then. Yes, Arabesse. And you'll be able to pick up new troops along the way, won't you? Yes, because we can train some of these. Which will also eat into our reserves, but it's okay. It's okay, okay. It's okay. At ease. Because as long as we hurt Isengard a bit, then I am fine with it. Okay. Another turn then. And another sip of tea. Hello, Dunadine. Mmm. <sighs> so nice. So lovely. Today we're drinking a black tea with buckthorn. This is, um, yeah. Wee. Ah. <sighs> and the odd and I'm just keep waddling on. Is Mordor just going to leave Minas Tirith to its devices? Are they going to allow the construction of our armory? <laughs> I love that. I love that. Okay. Um, I think the easiest way is to get there. And then... No! Oh! Ah. Okay. You can besiege it. And then you guys will have to go there. Hopefully that'll be uh, enough to deter them. I guess all we need is a ladder, really, because it doesn't have a gate, does it? No, I don't think it does. So we just n need some pro forma siege equipment and then we'll be good. <laughs> Ooh, Mythlon. 6,000 in income. Wonderfully wealthy it is. Ok. 
cows known lead is growing as we want it to and by rig all the culture deeply do oh yes more noldor but they're expensive uh, but i like them but they're expensive but i like them but they're expensive but i like them okay um Pervin, Tophorn. All doing lovely things. The Hornberg. Yeah, we need a great art gallery here. Cue that up first. And then Argond. You can upgrade. Ah, lovely. Yeah, let's do that. And Dunyard. Great art gallery? Yes, please. And then we're gonna go trading for a while. Dareworth is about to upgrade, which will help on, an, on numerous factors. But hopefully, also, the devastation will be um, in By check before too long. Dawn Austin, go on a little happy trek Fight against it. Captain Active, please. We must defend these lands. And another. Them. Our lands will be safe once more. Assail them, my lord. Come on. And then Adios. there we go. Elves. I'm gonna stick you, my lord. Have a taste of my blade. Do we want to finish off these guys? Maybe we'll get a general out of it. That would be amazing. Elven warriors. I'm going to use the defenders here. Swiftly. There they are. Enemy camp sacked, but no man of the hour. That's lands. fine. That's fine. We'll survive it. We will survive. Good. Come, my brothers. Why don't we build a little tower? Scout the area. Onward! We will need that one. To keep an eye on Edoras. Like okay. Wind. And what do they have here? Four units of something. Sire. Not much though. Over here, elves. We will need that one. Scout the area. Take it for Gund. Elves. Prepare to be annexed. Violently. Violently, violently. Now, uh, up in Dolvorn, Aravese continues Over south. Here, we can retrain some archers, and oh my Over goodness, here. we're running out of money. <laughs> uh, like the wind. Mainly, mainly due to uh, Armonost's army. Stay alert. And I'm kind of thinking that this army Over should here. head to Mordor. That's, yeah, heading this way. So, first stop is going to be Edoras. We need that. Engage. Then we should be continue on. Cavalry will join next turn. Elves. Come on. You head towards Nathiel. Get your retraining in. A Rumeldir. Yeah, you'll be a governor, so Over here, let's not fret too much Enemies. about your weapons and armor. Just get where you need to go quickly. And then go build Sire. Tolfer. That's no, no, of course, we got there this turn, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Okay, but I guess, I guess we can go to Umbar and blockaded if we absolutely bloody have to. We can go no further. For one turn. Okay, yeah, one turn. We can do one turn. Ships ready. Okay. Um here is to Sire. Yes, my lord. Impossible to Mordor without leaving question. us alone for another little while. Tired of ordering your own Hello, dear. Okay. Are you taking Belon? I hope you are. But if you're not, 
I'll be coming. Lord Angren just continues its adventure with mercenary strangulation. Hello, dwarves! How do you do? How do you do, good man? Oh, yeah, you just gonna sit we there like that. The and we took a fort. Woohoo! No, I will not take the history guild, please. Snowwalks retreat. Fine with that. Good work, Dunedain. Good work. They're worth upgrades. It starts to turn a profit. And we want a builder's guild house. Elves. Yes, my lord. Elves. Hmm. Yeah, we want that stronghold upgrade. Let's see if we can get some money from taking Gobel Toll for us. I guess we won't really build much new stuff. Though maybe we can focus on cheaper bits. So for instance, Teleri Royal Barracks over the Valiant Council Hall. But that Council Hall is really good though. Okay, let's focus on that market. Bring in a bit of extra income and then we get the Valiant Council Hall and then we get the Teleri Royal Barracks. I think that'll be good. Yes, my lord. Come, my brothers. And why don't we just keep Melkinitan in Osnathiel because he might pick up some extra perks there, Come, my brothers. which would be good. Elves, we must give up the and road. the cavalry Come hits on. the road. Science. Of food. Nice. There was, of course, Foldberg. Uh, uh, let's upgrade Ginyard. And then focus on. An old guard hall, maybe? For Fultberg. Mm, or maybe an armory. Land clearance. Land clearance is always good. Then we'll see what happens. We want to upgrade this uh, to a large city if we can, so. Getting some land clearance in is a good idea. Also, adds to income. Woohoo. Bring us. Yeah, we need art galleries here. Art galleries galore. Otherwise, people won't know that they're elven. Come, my brothers. Hello, dinner dear. I am a warrior, not a diplomat. You say that with such vehement vehemence. I mean, um, Gund, I will just take that. Keep them off balance. Boom, boom, boom. Mordor continues to neglect attacking Minas Tirith, and they shall suffer the consequences. For the light. And Gobel Tolfalas is about to fall. What is that? Is that an army on sea? No. Okay, but we can attack. And we shall. Uh, let's quickly save it because battle maps be buggy. Evil must not be allowed to triumph this day. Battle maps be buggy. Mm. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. We don't need a siege equipment at all. Let's. Just send in our archers first. Keep 
keep the Mizzle Nobles well in reserve. Then we have the others. And they just sit over there. Yes, they do. Okay, so we'll have to just walk across this entire place. And shoot the enemy. Come, my friends. We have a castle to take. And it'll be a bit annoying because we're going to be shooting uphill. But it will be fine. I guess we'll have to get up to around here to re shoot them. Because that's how big this plateau is. Okay, just switch to marching, I think. Oh, they come. They come at us. Start shooting if you can. And then we'll probably need to progressively pull back. Maybe the bowman can run in that direction. That would be interesting. See what will happen. What would happen if we just curl around them? Because they're just one unit. They have to focus somewhere. Yeah, that's perfect. Ha! And we just shoot them from behind. Boom! Ready your bows indeed. There they are, they're lightly armoured, they are mincemeat for you. They are charging, they are running, and they are quick, but I don't think they'll be quick enough. Just run, my friends, just run. Why are you not shooting? Oh, now you are. Okay, good. They do have armor upgrades, okay. Uh, let's run over here. Oh yeah! No! They're catching up to you! No! Okay. Fight them then. We can take a few losses, it's okay. Half the enemy force remains. Oh goodness gracious. Why are you that bad against them? Is it because... Yeah. The battle is very much in our favor. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Ours. Stab him. Ugh. Jesus. You're not meant to be so bad in melee. 17 defense and 10 attack is pretty good. Against 9 and 10. Ugh. What is up with you guys? Uh. Uh. 
Okay, we're sacrificing the Cinder Arches, essentially. <sighs> Shoot them, then. This is a clear victory. Finally. We healed six of our archers, but ugh, it was a sad thing to lose any of them, really. But, you know, things can happen. And it's a small price to pray for a fortress, so... Let's not be unhappy about this. This will be a wonderfully defensible region for us to have. And then, what I intend to do is plot some down in the fort, put a general in the settlement. And then, use this place as a base. Ooh, they have an Order of the Swan. No, not very nice. Barracks of the True Sons. Can't use that. Use the way station is fine to have. Oh, we can upgrade uh, weapons here, of course, because of the Order of the Swan. Okay, so we'll plot our middle nobles. Oh, no, we don't. Oh. Do we want to attack? Oh. Only if we can make peace with them. Yes, I would love to use that fort. Yes. Without question, as you wish. Dolanroth, um... Ah, oh. it's annoying. Okay. Yes, my lord. Hmm. Okay, we'll send the middle nobles to Minas Tirith, I suppose. Ships ready. Set sail. A fine day to sail. Right, from here, we can send people into a ship. But we'll do it next time because we want the navy to recharge, so to speak. Ships ready. Ships ready. Right, but this puts uh, the Ardenheim under pressure, I suppose. Takes a bit of income away from them. Compensates us slightly for the army that we have here. I would be willing to bribe that fort, but we can't, can we? Yes, That's the uh, annoyance that we will just have to deal with. Come, my brothers, for the light. But everything else is progressing just fine. And our navy is heading down to Umbar because the Council of Nobles really likes the thought of blockading it for a single turn and then just scurrying off. Yeah, that's worth expending like 12 turns of our navy's operation. <laughs> blockading Umbar for a single turn. Ah, here they come. And here the orcs come. What do they come with? Uh, this is actually not too good odds for us. I mean, the self swords are okay, but they're not that good. I don't think they'll be able to take all thousand at once. We'll need reinforcements. Back to the encampment. But we can just keep them around here and keep Isengard under pressure. Because I'm sure those guys have other places to be as well. Yes, Blazemith Guild and Osnathiel. I like. Stay alert. Um. By the light of Elbereth. Elves. Come, my brothers. Follow me. And then we send you to Dunder. Lord is completed. My lord. Come, my brothers. Like the wind. Elven warriors. We continue on the road. Follow me. To Rohan. 
Elrond, just take Gund. Our lands will be safe once more. Claim it for the free peoples. Oh, Brawler's Pit. Don't need that. Don't need the wargs. Then we will take an artist studio. I'm gonna stick you. Now, this army, I have to assume, take them out. will not be assisted. Ooh, that is interesting. But I think if we if we play our cards right. With a little bit of luck, they won't be assisted when attacking us, so... And they will see the size of the walls, they will wait a few turns before attacking. So we can actually supply troops to them. Elven warriors. Elves. Before we really need to do anything else. Okay, so I'm going to take all the heaviest of the heaviest here. I'm going to leave the rest. You're all, you're all gonna go. Yes, sir. Full sail. Oh dear, that was the wrong way. The fleet cannot sail there. Sorry, is near. Uh, I'm just I just want to pass through the strait to the end in here. It's, These uh, go there. Okay. Hmm. Ooh, Nestoron in Anonarod. Very good. Welcome to the family, sir. Um, head to Osnathiel for a training, please. The area. And complete. then another one. Uttar, coming from Mithlond. Nice to see. Nice to see. And a nice place for you to be. Let's send you to Suduri. Um, you know, on your way, why don't Scout you build Stay a little tower it. around here? We will need that one. And then continue south. Hell now. Lord. I'm gonna stick you! Ooh, this is interesting. Advance. Our ah, not interesting enough. More. Take them out! Destroy it! But if they are going to just let us take it like that, I would be happy. So, let's cross our fingers, everybody. Let's cross our fingers. Thag Kala. An armory? Yeah, that'll do good. Brunost to lay royal barracks. Nice. Now corruption free. Hmm. We can train so many elites. It's wonderful. Oh yeah, Bregos has some troops that Aravesa could potentially use. So let's get those on the road. Be vigilant. And then, yeah, these. That'll total into a nice little army. So Dury builds a builder's guild house, which means an, a great art gallery, probably. Yeah, let's get that. Just to be uh, wholly covered, right? Because we do need to... No. Uh, yeah. It'll, it'll give a, a boost to trade as well, which is good for this place. And then we proceed with the Nolder Guard Halls and Teleri Royal Barracks. And Minas Tirith gets the armory it has always needed. Which is wonderful. Should no, you know what? We should send you Melkinitan to Kenyard. Because heading there, we'll be able to take out. Well, actually, one of these guys can replace. Um. Take it for the elves. Glorfindel, in all truth. But you'll be needed as well Stay at some alert. point. There'll be some region that you'll need to to govern. Come, my this is how it's gonna be. And 
we close in on Umbar. That weird prize of theirs. <laughs> and the last of the tea for today has been had, meaning that this episode is soon to come to a close. Because that's just usually how the timing works out. Ooh, do, 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 do. <sighs> and the R on an iron. Note they do not attack our fleet. It's very interesting. Gund, Bladesmith Guild. Uh, actually, no. That's a town, so I'd like a history guild. Because we need, we want the quicker we can convert it, the better. Blast for Doom can upgrade, and um, oh, we can also hike up the taxes, I suppose. Just a little bit. Brunost. Wonderful. And the Mithlond. Ah, a place to train lovely things. Continue. Continue, continue. Foldburg, eh, you're building Hirots. Ah, Noldor Barracks. Hmm. Let's go with a stronghold upgrade, please. Elves. And our Bella's on. I suppose you can move out now. Yeah, you can. We just need a lot of generals that way. Dunlodach gets an armorer. Tavern, that's good. But let's get a Teleri Royal Barracks first. That'll make the place a bit more profitable. Earth and Loon gets roads, which is lovely. Follow me. And Otar. Scout the area. Go to the Duri and be happy. Hello, Gandalf. Being confused? Uh, I suppose their armies have nowhere to go because the Dune Line has thoroughly smashed everything in the north. Maybe Bree will attack us. Ooh, wouldn't that be something? <laughs> Come, um, my brothers. Follow me. Like the wind. Stay Elven warriors. Onward. Conceal our movements. Alrighty. What can we leave behind here? It can get any type of barracks. So let's just say My Lord. Yes, my lord. Leave behind four of those. Ah, oh, they like it. It's fine. Elves. Excellent. By the light of Elbereth. Over here, elves. We will need that one. Elves, follow me. That means Balorn is elves, about to fall. We must give up the road. Assail them! And Lord Angren can fall as well. So, the last battle of the day against Crackthorn and Golm. Sweep them away. We shall indeed sweep them away. And the in the fire of the Silverills fear and are made of the blended lights of the trees of Eleanor which lives in them yet. Um, doo -doo 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 and that's all I could manage to read. So, we have an enemy coming at us, and a door to break down. Let's just go for the door first thing. See how quickly we can get in there.
So those guys are running. Absolutely running. But it's fine. If they get in, they get in. We should have the numbers to deal with them. Our men have reached the gate with a battering ram. Slum, slam, 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 slam. The battering ram has done its work. Okay, time to run inside. Oh, and cut off those reavers if we can. Our soldiers have proved their worth today. The enemy's walls belong to us now. Da 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 da. And gotcha! Taking the them on one at a time will definitely be our, in our interest. And the bodyguards are just standing there. What's that? Our fellow orcs just dying right in front of us? Never heard of it. Oh, there they go. But the damage is done. Tidings. Behold how our cowardly foe runs. Okay, okay. Now mass upon the bodyguard, please. They are stronger, but they will be overpowered regardless. Badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. Our men have fought long and are becoming tired. We've lost control of the city. There we go. It's looking good. It's looking good. Five remaining. Come, slash, slash, hack and slash, 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 hack and slash. Come on, my friends, come on, my friends. Oh, oh, oh. Hello, dear general. May I have a word with you? A word um, being here symbolic of my sword. Tidings. There we go. The enemy awed by the victory we have won here today. Good work, Cell Swords. And so that's one more town in the bag. And if that roaming Isengard army wants to contest that loss, then they will find a uh, Ready to a uh, defense force ready to deal with them. Mostly ready, anyway. They will not see us in the forest. And of course, an army approaching from the north. We've defeated their wretched armies. Guard this area. Lonangren is ours. Goodbye, chicken farming. Goodbye, hunter skilled. Yep. They didn't really have any training facilities there at all. Hello, Shithak. Merge what can be merged. Hmm, can we retrain these 114? Yes, we can. Looking good. Looking good. The Dominion is 38 regions large Elfin. now. Uh, maybe actually we Step should send Amonost to besiege this place, Melduron to take over Ginyard, and then Donna Norston. to head west. Or oh, east as well. Yes, my lord. And these guys I'll seem a bit more threatening, so you. why don't we 
Send some folks to Ginyard. Just for good measure, you know? Ooh, can we retrain weapons here? We can. Good, good, good. And Malor continues. Navigating the narrow straits and Minister Earth is ahead. My lord. And our diplomat shall continue as you wish. Toward Dol Amroth. And that fleet blockades there. All is good. All is good. <sighs> Kazatum West. Lovely place for training troops. So let's get some of those. Follow me. Like the wind. Or it's completed. Come, my brothers. Elves. Follow me. Yes, my lord. Onward. Elves! Onward! Dun -dun -dun. Elves. That's good. Stay alert. Gathering up the troops. Gathering up By the guys. The Ships ready. I guess we could use, you know, long term we could use another general Elves. over here. And Tharbad. So let's get... Yeah, let's get Nestron over there. Why not? Let's just send him in Austin Athiel on the way. Ooh, Irigian Smiths. Yes, please. I mean, they're dreadfully expensive, but... My lord. For the light. I like them. Come on. Yes, my lord. My lord. Elven warriors. We shall put people appropriately into appropriate forts. And uh, yes, it's a good day. I'll end another turn. And then we'll see where we are. But yeah, the last battle was the last battle. I'm not going to take another battle in this episode. Just a little bit more management to uh, see what happens. And maybe provide a nice little point of excitement for the episode to come. Ostgillon, we haven't checked in on that in a while. I guess we should. Maybe it's upgradable now. I think it is. It should be by this point. And Mordor arrives. Patoda's reinforcements in terms of 75 Elven Defenders. But, you know, 75 Elven Defenders might as well be 300 enemy Orcs. So, I am happy to see this. I will make good on my word. This battle shall start the next episode. And we shall see what then happens, right? So, we're just going to save it. High and mighty. Indeed we do. And until next time, I hope you have a lovely couple of days. Captain Turtle Waffle, considerably out.